Welcome to Woodmont's 9 and 9. I'm Farrell Mason and I'm filming for my home. And today I'd like to talk to you about prayer. Prayer is a mysterious, miraculous, and sometimes frustrating effort. Not only is the receiver unseen, but we never really know if the pleadings of our hearts are heard and if and how they are answered. I'm a novice in the art of praying. Sometimes my prayers feel surface deep, worse wrote. In Shakespeare's play Hamlet, Claudius's confession resonates. My words fly up, my thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never heaven go. I try to pray with conviction, but my words sometimes are clumsy and elegant and self-conscious. When life is going well, I can easily fall out of the practice of praying. I'm guilty of believing in God, but not including God in my daily life. It sure was easier for me to pray as an innocent child. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep was all that needed to be said before floating off into my dreams, peaceful and confident God and his court of angels would be watching over me. Could this be why Paul lamented in the first Corinthians, when I was a child, I spoke and thought and reasoned like a child, but when I grew up, I set aside childish ways. Sadly, growing up ends easy trust. But that is what we are required to grasp again as adults. Jesus said, truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never know and enter the kingdom of heaven. In these Corona days, I'm listening to my children's prayers. My son Percy has no doubt that God will make all things right. He is of course, completely in spiritual sync. God loves is never in doubt, so why should he fear? The most honest prayer I know is, Dear God, I believe. Help my unbelief. Trusting God regardless of the circumstances is plain hard. Vulnerability and speaking our raw truths is the first lesson on how to pray. Our prayers right now are an exhausted list, list of concerns for family and friends, our church and work, finances, the whole suffering world. But also it's important that we focus on thankfulness for God holding us minute by minute from falling. Praying for personal courage and a new depth of faith empowers us in the uncertainty. Prayer is not complete, however, without a confession of our hopes all the things we look forward to when we surface from this valley. God promises that this too shall pass and the joy will return in the morning. There is a dramatic scene in the Gospel of Luke where the disciples, very anxious about the future, ask Jesus how to pray. This is a beautiful moment of love as Jesus frees them and all of us with the gift of the Lord's Prayer. It becomes a simple blueprint for security. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the face of Corona, let us, let us pray in faith the Lord's Prayer. It is blessing me with peace. Reminiscent of the childhood game of hot potato, I envision myself passing off all my hot potato worries to God, confident in the deep of me, that there is no true failure in God's plan ever. As Julian of Norwich, the 15th century Christian mystic confessed, all shall be well and all manner of things shall be well. Another favorite author of mine, Madeline Langle said, think of yourself as a very small car turning into a gas station to be filled with faith. The Lord's prayer will reassure you 
Something good is on the horizon. It is God's promise. Be thankful and believe.